You bet your bippy, it's Chappelle Street. La 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 la, la 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 la. Implicit differentiation. La 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 la, la 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 la. Implicit differentiation. Differentiation. Good morning, everyone. Are we ready to learn? Yeah. Hi, Ponyo. Hi, what you doing? We were just announcing the topic for the day. Implicit differentiation. What? Impli implic implicate incomplic implicate 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 to differ, differentiate, differ, differentiate, implicit. You mean implicit differentiation? Yeah. Implicit differentiation. What's that? Well, Ponyo, have you ever gotten stuck in a derivative problem and you can't find the functions? Yeah, I hate when that happens. Well, that's when we can use implicit differentiation. Implicit differentiation is the process where you find the derivative of y in terms of x, otherwise known as dy dx. By isolating dy dx from the rest of the equation, we can solve to find the values of x and y in a slope. Jeez Louise, that sounds hard. That's okay, Panya. We're going to have Tatiana break it all down for you. Are you ready? Let's do it! Hi, everyone. I'm Tatiana. Here are some easy steps to teach you how to implicitly differentiate. Step one, find the derivative of both sides of the equation. Now remember, when you find the derivative of y, you have to multiply it by dy dx. When you find the derivative of x, you have to multiply it by dx dx. Step two, now you have to move all the terms with dy dx to one side of the equation. Everything else can go to the other side. Step three. Now you have to get dy dx alone. So you can divide or subtract or add everything from the same side to the other side. Step four, admire your work. You've just solved for dy dx and you can go ahead and simplify. Let's take a look at a problem where we can use implicit differentiation. Here we have the problem y squared plus x squared equals 25. So we start by taking the derivative of either side. Now, you know how to find the derivative of this, but there's an extra step. So you move the two down and you have two y to the first. But whenever you see a y that you have to take a derivative of, you also have to multiply it by dy dx. Something similar happens when you find the derivative of x. You have the 2x to the 1, but you need to multiply it by dx dx. And then the derivative of 25 is 0. Now what do you do? You have to separate the variables so they're on opposite sides of the equation. So dx dx is pretty much just 1. So that means you can move the 2x to the first to this side of the equation, and that'll make it negative 2x. Now what about this side? Well, you can just keep it as it is for now. So now you have to separate the dy dx from the 2y, because that's what you're solving for. So to do that, you have to divide this side by 2y, and then also divide this side by 2y. So then you'll have dy dx, this is what you're solving for, equals negative 2x over 2y. Or in other words, negative x over y. Ta-da! Whoa, I want to try! We'll let Emmy break it all down for you. Are we ready, Ponyo? Yeah! All right, let's do this. Wait, where are we? The producers of this motion picture could not secure the same classroom for two periods in a row. So here we have our second problem. 
which is 2y plus xy equals x cubed. Okay, so first we need to remember that these two are multiplication, which means we have to use the product rule. So, okay, we have 2 dy dx plus y is 0, because the derivative of 2 is 0, plus x y dx plus y dx equals 3x squared dx dx. Great. Okay, so let's get rid of the stuff we don't need. So we know that dx dx is just 1, so we're going to cross this out, and then 0 is just here. So let's write that simplified. This looks hard. It is a little hard, but we're going to do this together. So we just moved everything down to here, right? So first we're going to subtract the y, because it's not part of the d by dx. Alright, so next we're going to get the dy dx together and then separate everything else. So we have 2 x dy dx. 3x squared minus y. Great. Great. So now we're just going to divide this to separate it from the dy dx. Okay. So dx equals 3x squared minus y divided by 2 plus x. We have a guest teacher who's going to help us with the end. This looks really fascinating, even though I failed math in high school. <laughs> so our answer is 3x squared minus y over 2 plus x. Ponyo, we did it! We did it! Yay! We did it together. Are we ready to do one more problem, Ponyo? Heck yeah! All right, good attitude. So right here, we have sine y plus y squared equals 3xy. We know we always have to take the derivative. So the derivative. Wait, wait, wait. What's sine y? It's trigonometry, honey. It's okay. <laughs> so we take the derivative of sine, which we know is cosine of y. We multiply it by dy dx, the derivative of y. Next, we find the derivative of y squared, which is 2y times dy dx. Now equals the derivative of 3xy. And we know that because we have two variables being multiplied by each other that we need to use the product rule. So we do 3x times dy dx plus y times dx dx times 3. And we multiply by 3 because the 3 is a constant that needs to be factored in. So right now, we can cross out dx dx because we know that equals 1. Right, Panya? Yes, yes, that does. <laughs> right. So next, we put everything with dy dx on the other side. So cos times y times dx. y dx plus 2y times dy dx minus 3x times dy dx equals 3y. Next, we want to isolate the dy dx by factoring it out of the equation. So we have dy dx multiplied by cosine y plus 2y minus 3x equals 3y. Now, to really isolate dy dx, we need to divide by this big equation right here. And then we're left with our final answer being dy dx equals 3y over cosine y plus 2y minus 3x. Wow. And that's our answer. Do you understand it, Panya? I think I do. That is awesome. High five. Right.
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to today's episode. We have a fun little song for you to remember everything we've learned today. Enjoy! part about the teachers was um that would be nothing they were all really annoying and they kept trying to steal my spotlight and um, i was like who do you think this show is about so it's about me Honyo. Oh. Shh, i'm talking oh Honyo. that's it did you actually learn anything while on the show I learned that I am awesome. Thank you very much, Ponyo. Are you sure you don't want to know everything about me? Yes, I'm sure. Thank you. I don't think you're sure. No, thank you. No.